Now, the standoff between healthcare workers and county governments continues after the Council of Governors announced that counties will not implement the 2017 collective bargaining agreement as it will have a ripple effect on other county employees. The healthcare workers insist they will not go to back to work until the 2017 CBA is fully implemented, rubbishing the government's claims that the wage bill is too high to accommodate their demands. Emily Chabet reports. Doctors, clinical officers and laboratory technicians who have been on strike with doctors for more than a month say they will be on the streets every Tuesday until government addresses their issues. They must look at their own wages before they tell us that the wage bill is ballooning. And as healthcare workers today, we are saying we are ready to get into this balloon and burst with this balloon. Yeah. I, am, I am very sure that there's still some room for healthcare workers yes. before the balloon burst. And as medical students, we've also decided to down our brains yes. in that we are afflicted yes. that these doctors here that are now on the streets for 34 consecutive days are our tutors. And so we cannot survive in school when our teachers are on the streets. The healthcare workers marched from the Kenyatta National Hospital through Afya House to the Council of Governors offices in Westlands, where COG was holding a council meeting to deliberate on key issues affecting county governments, but they were denied access. The Council of Governors maintains there are no resources to implement the 2017 CBA. In the event that the national government agrees to the implementation of the CBA, we would like to bring to the attention of the national government and the public that this would have a ripple effect on all civil servants' basic pay and will therefore require additional allocation of resources to county governments to be able to carry out this task. It is insane for governor to read a statement saying that he will not implement a CBA that is a constitution for the workers, that is actually binding between an employer and employees. It means that they don't need healthcare workers in the counties. The Council of Governors have accused the doctors of dishonesty, saying counties have released 890 doctors for postgraduate training, yet they still receive their salaries, something they say is straining the counties who are unable to employ additional doctors. We have appealed for the policy to be amended and for the national government to take the burden of those who are under training so that the county governments can be able to replace those who are in training. The government has already released 2.4 billion shillings to go for internship of our doctors. We have released their letters. In fact, they were supposed to report by yesterday. What we do not want to do as a government is to put a bandage on a wound without treating it. That is why we are taking our time Several counties have already threatened to take action against healthcare workers who are participating in the strike. You cannot treat a frog that lives in the water. So they can dismiss us, all of, all of us. They can dismiss all the doctors. They can dismiss all the uh, clinical officers. They can dismiss all the nurses. But we have a reason, we have an issue that made us go out of strike. And therefore that grandstanding will not take us back to work. To anyone who would want to deem our demands as inconsequential, we want to say this to you, that our demands are not the genuine pronouncements of malcontents, but these are the sine qua non in legal terms of a, of a healthcare ecosystem devoid of any pathological dysfunction. Healthcare workers have insisted that they will continue with similar strikes every Tuesday for as long as it takes until the government climbs down and implement 2017 CBA. The strike that has been on for more than a month for doctors and 16 days for clinical officers has seen Kenyans suffering. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.